finding your yoga niche. In the late 19th century, yoga was introduced to the Western world by India and since then has gone through many adaptations. Now, yoga is practiced in five basic ways. 1. Yoga for staying fit. It seems that yoga as a way to stay fit and flexible is the most common way that we in the Western world use it. It could be classed as the biggest change the traditional Hatha yoga is a traditional type of yoga and the western style is a derivative of that. Yoga as fitness training is pertains to the physical body, flexibility and strength. Most people new to yoga come to it for the physical reason but then realize that there are other benefits to it such as moral and spiritual qualities that are designed to reach the level of enlightenment. The original masters realized a need to keep the physical body in shape but also found greatness in keeping the mind and spirit in shape also. 2. The sport side of yoga. In some land in American countries yoga is considered a sport but is somewhat controversial. These sportsmen are incredible athletes and have mastered many extremely difficult yoga poses and do demonstrations of their excellent skills in international competitions. Traditional yoga practitioners that consider this an art form have been known to criticize these competitions. Some feel that yoga should not be competitive. The good part is this sport has really helped to put yoga on the map in some parts of the world. 3. Therapeutic Yoga Yoga has played a large role in restoring health and mental function in many cases. There are Western teachers that use yoga for therapeutic purposes. This type of therapy has been around for many years but the idea is fairly new in the Western world. Therapeutic yoga is a professional calling that requires more difficult training and skill than ordinary type. Yoga is normally for people who don't suffer from disabilities or ailments but yoga therapy caters to these special needs. For example chronic back pain may be helped by therapeutic yoga. Some insurance companies actually offer coverage as an alternative therapy. For Yoga Lifestyle Choices Yoga as a lifestyle is actually the proper realm of yoga. Even a couple hours a week is better than none but yoga can be taken to higher levels when you choose it as a lifestyle. It is not just about fitness. Lifestyle means actually living yoga, practicing it every day whether it be the physical part or the mental part. Participating in the wisdom of yoga brings self-awareness and clear thinking. You can even take it to a point where you get into the teaching of what to eat, how to sleep, how to work, how to relate to others and so on. It is not necessary to start your new lifestyle in one day. You can start by making a few simple changes in daily living and take it one step at a time. 5. The Spiritual Side of Yoga Yoga is healthy, fitness-oriented and focused living. The other side of yoga is the spiritual side which leads to enlightenment and your spiritual nature. When we say spiritual we mean your natural being. The word in yoga is Atman or Purusha. If you study yoga philosophy you will find that spirit is the same for everyone. It is immortal, subconscious and formless bliss. It resides in all beings and things. Being transcendental. It is in existence far from the limited body and mind but the moment of enlightenment you discover your spirit, finding your yoga niche. In the late 19th century, yoga was introduced to the Western world by India and since then has gone through many adaptations. Now, yoga is practiced in five basic ways. 1. Yoga for staying fit. It seems that yoga as a way to stay fit and flexible is the most common way that we in the Western world use it. It could be classed as the biggest change the traditional Hatha yoga is a traditional type of yoga and the western style is a derivative of that. Yoga as fitness training is pertains to the physical body, flexibility and strength.